Hey, welcome back. It's Nico from Horticulture here. Hope you're doing well during these very strange, uncertain times. Um, I know they've been challenging for pretty much everybody. And uh, because of that, I wanted to share with you a few things that I've been doing that have helped me so far get through quarantine with a little less anxiety and stress. Um, and maybe they'll be beneficial to you too. So obviously quarantine is affecting pretty much everybody around the world right now. And next to the financial stress of things, like how am I gonna make money? How am I gonna pay my bills? Which I think is probably the number one thing, it's basic survival. The next thing that we start thinking about is our mental and emotional health. Because all this isolation and sort of um, cutting off from our normal patterns, our normal routines can cause a lot of uh, depression and anxiety and worry. Um, and I know I've been through some of this and a lot of my friends have been through some of this. So I've been trying a lot of different things during this time to see what works and what doesn't. And I'm not gonna share every single one of the things that works, but I wanna share, I think, the best ones, at least the ones that have worked for me. And again, hopefully these things will be useful to you as well. The first thing I would recommend um, in this time to help alleviate this sense of uncertainty and depression and anxiety is to create some sort of routine. Human beings are creatures of habit. And when our normal patterns get disturbed, all of a sudden everything sounds confusing and you're uncertain about everything. You're like, oh my God, what's going on? What do I do? What do I say? What do I, blah. you go, blah. that's what you do. So when we are left to our own devices, just sitting around at home, it often feels empty and sort of pointless. So the first thing you wanna do is create some sort of a routine that you know that every day when you wake up, you're gonna do this at this time in this place. And the more things you have throughout the day that, you know, I'm gonna do these things this exact way this day, like create a little schedule for yourself. Doesn't have to, you don't have to over schedule. And the point is not to be busy for the sake of busy, but the, the point is to have some semblance of a pattern, of a routine. And when you lock into that, I think in general, you will feel better. I do at least when I create a routine for myself and I lock into that thing, I generally feel less anxious, less confused. And I feel more like, okay, things are all right. So my number one suggestion is figure out some sort of a schedule or routine that you can create for yourself that you know that you can follow every single day and that should bring some sense of normalcy back to your life. Um, second idea I have that's worked really well for me is exercise. Um, I don't know if you are into fitness or exercise yourself, you may not be and I understand I wasn't for many years of my life as well. This is not about trying to get really ripped, bro. It's not even about losing weight. This is about the mental and emotional side effects of doing physical movement and intense physical movement where you get your heart rate up and you can break a sweat. And to me, that is the number one benefit of doing exercise consistently. You don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to lift you know, crazy huge weights. And again, if you're not used to exercising, you probably don't have any weights, but the point is do something where you move your body physically every day, every other day, ideally every day, maybe something lighter in between, but maybe you do something a little more intense Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and something a little, a little less intense like a stationary bike or take a walk or something. At least get out, get moving. You will feel better in general. Your mood will be better if you are using your body more. So yeah, my number two suggestion would be exercise, move your body as much as possible. You will feel better mentally and emotionally, I promise. Number three is probably what you've already been doing, which is connect with people. And in this time, we're so isolated, at least I am, maybe you are too, unless you live with someone, live with a group of people, maybe kids, I don't know. Um, maybe then a little less isolated. But this is an important time to reconnect with your family and your friends. And I'd also recommend um, doing face-to-face, -face, and I know six feet apart, but doing face-to-face -face, like video chats as your number one priority for these things. It is most important for um, connection and communication that we actually see people's faces, that we can see their facial expressions and we can see um, 
you know, their mannerisms and body language when we're communicating because that says a lot more about how they're feeling and what they're thinking than the actual words do. So yeah, number three is connect with people, ideally face to face. Get that much needed social interaction that we're all craving. Number four that's really helped me is find a focus. And human beings are naturally project oriented. We want to work on things and see them progress and get better. We want to focus on something and give our all to something that we care about. And um, we all know that feeling when you get engrossed in your art, your projects, whatever they may be, whether you write or you do art or you dance or you make music like I do, um, you know that feeling when you're in the zone and everything just feels right. It gives you that sense of meaning and purpose that we all need to have that uh, feeling of progression in our lives, that we're working towards something, something bigger that matters to us. And so in this time where everything feels uncertain and up in the air, it's very important to find that focus, find a project. It could be just something around the house. Maybe there's something that you haven't gotten to in a long time. like. If you have a, a full house and you have like a garage, or for our overseas friends, garage, maybe it's really messy. Maybe you've been meaning to clean that thing out for a long time, months, maybe even years. Well, that's a project. Now is a time to start on that and maybe get that finished by the time this is done and you're gonna feel accomplished, you're gonna feel good. Maybe it's something simple around the house. Maybe it's starting something new that you've been meaning to start, like you wanna pick up a new instrument or you wanna learn a new language or you want to learn a new artistic skill or a piece of software. You wanna learn how to code or do, you know, how, to, how do you use Photoshop, you know, if, if you don't know how to use it, um, things like that. This is a great time to learn new skills, great time to really focus down and go, okay, cool. I wanna learn how to do this, or I wanna accomplish this, or I wanna get this thing done. So yeah, number four, find a focus, find a project, engross yourself in that, and it's gonna help the time pass a little easier too. Give yourself something to put your mind on and accomplish. And finally, my fifth suggestion would be increasing your mental resilience. And I say this because I need to do this a lot still. I've, I feel like I've made a lot of progress over the years, but there's still plenty of work to be done. I am still a creative person, which means I'm naturally a more sensitive type person, which means things affect me very strongly. I still am very susceptible to depression, anxiety, uh, fear, worry, self-doubt. And we're always gonna be facing challenges throughout our entire lives. That's never gonna stop. The world is not gonna stop throwing obstacles in your path, that's just how it works. You're always gonna encounter something else. You're always gonna have some other event happen in life, could be economic, um, it could be social, it could be health, it could be a million things, and it's gonna be hard, and we're gonna have to fucking deal with it. Whatever comes your way, I would feel that we'd all be better if we learned to deal with these things more pragmatically be able to bounce back faster from defeat, from rejection, from criticism, from hardships, from challenges, from all the shitty hard things that can happen in life, which is never gonna stop, by the way. So the only thing we can do is try to get better and be prepared for the next time something like this happens that we can handle it a little more gracefully. We can be a little more steadfast we're not as strongly affected by the changes in our environment or the people around us or certain circumstances. Um, one of the things I would recommend for increasing mental resilience is start a meditation practice in the morning. It doesn't have to be long and definitely doesn't have to be spiritual in the slightest because I am absolutely not that. It could be as little as five minutes, set a timer on your phone, don't look at it, put it down and just exist for five minutes, just notice. Like just notice the sensations in your body. Notice how you feel, notice the thoughts in your head. Don't react to them, don't judge them. Don't say, well, that's stupid or I hate that. Just, oh yeah, I'm thinking this or oh, I feel this. And just noticing, just being present. And this doesn't sound like it's doing much, but five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you can spare in the morning, you build this up over time and you're actually building up slowly your muscle for resilience of just kind of being able to live in the now and being less affected by things. 
And I also recommend a book that I have shared with a lot of friends. It's one of my favorite books for um, self-improvement and learning to deal with challenging emotions and thoughts. Uh, it's called The Happiness Trap by Russ Harris. And um, it's amazing. So those are five ideas that have worked really well for me, at least, to help me get through quarantine uh, feeling a little better, a little less anxious, less stress, less depressed. Um, and hopefully you can try one or two or a few of these ideas and they work for you too. All right, that's all from me today. Stay safe, stay inside, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.